Here is the 2014 to 2018 Kia Forte. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the video. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and open the driver's side door. Right over there is the primary hood release lever. Pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the Kia emblem there, put one finger in there and then push it left like that. While you're pushing it left, lift up the hood. This hood requires a prop rod to keep it in place, so grab the rod and put it in that slot over there with the arrow marking it. Then slide it left and let it go. Once the hood is open, that right over there, the yellow dipstick, that's the one for the engine oil, even sees it on it. And that's where you add the oil from. Before we add the oil, we need to check the level. And when you're checking the level, the engine has to be warm. Because as the engine heats up, the oil heats up and it expands. So you want to make sure you get the correct reading. Also, the car has to be on like a level ground, not on a slope driveway. That won't work, like a level ground like this and you'll need a piece of rack to wipe the oil off the dipstick. So let's go ahead and pull the dipstick out. We're gonna pull it out with the two fingers like that. Just pull it out straight, it comes out, and wipe the oil off the dipstick, put it back in and get a fresh reading. But before we put it back in, let's take a closer look at the dipstick. Now right there, let's pause right there. You see there are two markings on it. The L is for minimum. You don't want the oil level to be below that because that means there's not enough oil in the engine and that's not good. And you don't want it to be above F or maximum either because that leads to a whole different set of issues. So you want it to be between low and full. It has to be between minimum and maximum. So now that we know that, let's put the dipstick all the way back in and pull it out and get a fresh reading over here. Now in this case, the oil was just changed very recently. So the engine oil is very clear, but I'm sure you can see that right below the F mark, you see it's wet between L and F, but above F it's dry. So oil level is right below maximum and that's good. That's what you want. If you have to top up oil, it takes about one quart, about one liter of oil to go from L to F. Let's just put the dipstick back in all the way. If you have to top up oil though, make sure you only top up gradually. So you add some oil, then you check the fluid level, then you add some more and you check the fluid level and so on and so forth. So that way you make sure you don't end up overfilling the oil because it requires way too much work to take off oil if you overfilled it. And you need SAE 5W20, just like you should say on the bottle right there, 5W20, that's the oil you need. If you can find 5W, you could put 0W in the car, that's fine, but the 20 part should be matching. And often these bottles have like a transparent side on the side so you can see how much oil is in there and also have like a gauge so you know how much oil is in there initially and how much you added. Twist this oil cap left. You'll require two fingers to do it. It's kind of hard but it comes off. And that's it. That's where you fill up the oil in. And once you're done, put the oil cap back on as such and start twisting it right. And when you tighten it, you gotta tighten it to like one click. Yep, that's it. That is good. That's pretty much it. First, you have to push the hood, take load off the prop rod, slide it right and get it out of there. Put it back in its place, lower the hood and then slam it shut. Hope you found it useful. 